Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the third and final colonial style, and this is the Spanish colonial style. So there are five key elements to the Spanish colonial style. The first is the low sloping roof, which we've seen in some of the other styles. Um, most, actually, most of the other colonial styles actually have a, a steep roof. So the Spanish colonial is a lot shallower roof and also sometimes flat with just a parapet. Um, surrounding the perimeter. The windows were, because of the environment, they were generally a lot smaller windows and they were unglazed, so they were just open air with some shutters to kind of keep sunlight out or lock them up at night, um, that kind of things. But they were typically open windows allowing for air to flow through. Another thing that allowed the air to flow through and um, kind of opened the house up a lot more was a lot of these houses had more than one front door. They typically had a a couple of front doors so um, the house could really open up and uh, and breathe and let some of that heat out I guess. Most of the walls were stucco or stone and a lot of times they were actually adobe brick that made up uh, made up these walls so this is kind of that you know typical Spanish style that you see with the smooth walls um, sometimes arched openings over the doorways open windows very arid environment um, with sometimes having a flat roof. Other times there was actually a tile roof on like a low slope. And like a, a lot of the other houses, since this is very early time period, there were um, typically one story. The Spanish colonial was very prevalent during the 1600s to the 1890s. Towards the 1800s though, the one story started to transition into two story structures. And a lot of these two story structures had balconies on the second story that would actually cantilever off um, one face of the house. And so that was kind of a typical thing you started to see with some of the later versions of the Spanish colonial were these second story balconies that, um, that cantilevered out and would have uh, a, sh you know, a roof that would, that would be supported by that second story balcony. The detail of these homes is very, very simplistic with very minimal detail. This style actually, as, as the area started to develop with the railroad and people began to build more ornamental houses as, they, as their wealth began to increase, and this actually developed into what is known as the Monterey style, which we're gonna talk about a uh, couple, some future days from, from now. So like a lot of the um, houses we've talked about so far, this is a very simple um, structure, like a lot of the previous ones. Um, they're typically a little bit larger than some of the others, but uh, still pretty small. They had low sloping or even a, um, a flat roof, uh, would draw like a low slope, and they had um, tile roofs with very little overhang once again um, just because of the climate they didn't really need a lot of overhang typically the windows were small and um, might have just had shutters and they also had generally had um, more than one front door. So they might have a small window there, a window here, and a, a door, and they would have wood shutters on these on these windows and typically a wood wood door. So very simple. Um, you see that we're gonna get into a lot more detailed structures um, as we progress through time, but these are very simple, um, very little, very little detail or ornamentation to them. That's a typical, typical uh, Spanish colonial style. 